And tonight, UC Davis Medical Center setting a pandemic record for the highest number of COVID patients in its hospital. 126 hospitalized tonight. That's up from 37 on January 1st. So what is the state doing to help hospitals during the Omicron surge? CBS 13's Valina Jones is in Placerville getting answers for us. Valina? You might be wondering, where are all these extra patients going? We're here at the birth center at Marshall Hospital. It's just one of the areas within the hospital that they've been able to find extra room to move patients around. It has been a long two years. People are getting tired. Marshall Hospital in Placerville has the space to care for patients, but Chief Nursing Officer Cindy Rice says they struggle when it comes to staffing. We do have times where we are putting the puzzle pieces together to cover shifts. The state asked Marshall for more help to care for patients, designating the medical center as a surge hospital, adding up to 45 beds. They're using extra rooms in areas like their birth center to move non COVID patients and make more space. When the state approached us, we said, okay, let's figure it out. In return, they will get 40 to 60 nurses and other hospital staff to help fill the need coming from across the state. We've had people who have been out on COVID protocol. Any relief we can give our healthcare staff is a good thing. So where are the other surge hospitals going in our area? I emailed the state three times. They would only tell me 221 facilities across the state have been given the designation, but wouldn't name them, citing privacy concerns. But CBS 13 is getting answers with area hospitals. Dignity Health says half of its hospitals in the Sacramento region are receiving help, including Mercy San Juan, Methodist Hospital, and Mercy General. UC Davis Medical Center will receive 48 additional health care workers, while Kaiser South Sacramento will get 56 additional beds. At the same time, Barton Memorial in South Lake Tahoe is still waiting to see if their request for extra staffing and 40 beds will be approved. A surge in care needs filled by a spike in resources. Hospitals hope make a difference. Well, we're certainly hoping that it provides the support that other hospitals need and provides the care to the patients that may be otherwise sitting in an emergency department. Traveling nurses here at Marshall Hospital are expected to start Monday for training and be working at full capacity within a few days.